Hello. Welcome. Uh, yes, I was building this and I came across a pretty decent base. So, it's obviously a multi TC, uh, double uh, external walls, six man clan ish. Could have more, but pushing it a bit. And yeah, you can build it in stages. So, first stage looks like this, but it won't be armored. It'll probably like stone or sheet metal because you probably won't be in the base when it's at this stage because it's not very well protected. I mean, most 32 rockets, well, no, about 36 rockets, most 39 maybe, but least is probably like 19, 20. And yeah, so first stage you should build a circle of triangles and then from every direction build a square, fill it in with another triangle between the squares, and then you should build it up two floors, floors fill in all the gaps with garage doors, and then TC in the middle so it's more protected and then yeah so then you got this sort of honeycomb here the, all the loot rooms and then when you go up you'd have to have two on the bottom floor two less loot rooms obviously into that triangle with a T to have this extra loot room taken off well servers login or this uh, here put boxes here go up do the same thing again. yeah and then you move on to the external TCs so pull it out obviously back and then you fill in the gaps it build up to close together and then the walls put the walls in both sides I'd suggest doing the outside walls first if you've not got enough resources to them both at once and then at the minute to get into the base this is just ladders with garage door at top but when it gets to this point you get a bit more secure, but yeah, you can still ladder over. I'll just show you how to do the multi TC on this base at the minute. So, if you want to start off by building out at eight, so one, and then you want to leave the end one and delete your seven. Obviously, twig by creating someone, and then just build back with. Triangle making crescents like this until until you get what well, I've done it wrong. Have I done this wrong? What? Oh yeah, no, I did wrong. I messed this up. Did I? I don't think I did. What the hell? Alright, I did it right this time. So you build out A and then just do crescents back from the end one, then build two floor and then a triangle here, and then two triangles either side of each floor like that. And then I'll copy this to the other side, but there's not enough space. Side. And then you go quarter of the way around. Quarter of the way around. Build out two squares and lag in the middle block. And then just build triangles as up to as close as you can with this. And obviously same at this side. And yeah, that's the walls all be done. And then if you come over here on these one of these two squares, either one don't really matter. Build out five. Build two triangles at end. Wall it in. TC. Roof it. Windows. Boom, that, and then you do that at the end. And then obviously, you just build the walls up. That, and then build it another. And then build it on the other side. And then build it another high. You just do that all the way around like this. And then to do entrances, because it's obviously different to just the ladders on the side of the base, uh, you want to do like a two by one inside here so it's with this one extra door rather than then straight forward and then just door frames here then obviously when you get to this bit wall this side off so it takes more rockets to get through doors if you're going this way rather than that way then put door frames along these three 
wall all them off at the top he can fill these tops in with the uh, uh, thing is floor triangles and these bit and these tops just so it's more rockets to get up then triangle frame triangle frame ladder hatches do not really matter what which way they're facing but i prefer to have them that way ladder hatch ladder hatch and there you go and then move on to the next stage which is the final stage i, did, I only did half of this this, uh, this so i can show you what to do so it's got the the core of the shooting floor as we call it I uh, have lockers and maybe extra beds and then you've got the inner peaks oh god I'm like uh, the peaks and the advanced out down here They're just normal peaks so yeah I'll show you how to build them but first what you want to do for the inner peaks is place the floors in this corner but which uh, closer to you yeah, you want to build them closer to you if you stood away from the core, and then you just build it like this. And then you build one there. You can build two, and do the same again, away from. So that's close to the core, and then sort of away from the core. One, and then two. Not, two. So then you've got this peak, the, these peaks, and this peak. And then for the shooting floor, what you want to do is just build out one in each direction, leaving these corners, because I'll show you how to build the more advanced peaks. But when you get past this corner, you build a triangle back to floor, then try again, leave the corner, back, back to floors. Put windows round like normal. Door frames over the peaks. And those are just roofs over here. Roofs over the top for now before we roof the rest off. And then for the more advanced peaks, you want to build the, a full one down. I'm getting real low FPS right now, I don't know why. And then you build it half up. And then window on either side. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. This needs to be connected. I don't know why my slash flies messed up. This needs to be connected to the outer TCs. This floor that you're building, it can't be connected to the inner one, it needs to be connected to the outer ones, otherwise it don't work. And then, obviously, the two floors, the two windows, then two half heights, roof, and then, gotta put U shaped stairs so it's more. And that's the one, and then I'll do the other side real quick. And then it's just time to roof off the rest. Obviously, this is pretty simple. You just follow what's below. Don't want to change out. And then, but for the outer, for the shooting floor, I should say, it's a bit more difficult. So you kind of want to follow the floor, but where there's a peak, you want to do something different. So like, for example here, where there's a peak, you should, instead of putting it away, where there's this big gap, you'll put it close. So there'll be a gap here and a gap here, but you can just fill these in with stone wall frames, because that's got the biggest hitbox out of all the wall frames. And that's the best you can do. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention that. Around all the shooting floor, and the bit, uh, it needs to be metal wall frames. Well, it needs to be metal, but at least stone. I'd 
now, but uh, just for um, stability later on. And obviously, you can just literally build these lines wherever you want, apart from not right this, so you can actually put a wall frame there. Then just keep filling it in to be honest. I'd start at the other side before you do all of it. Obviously this bit's alright not to be connected. Uh, to be connected to closer to this bit. The gap because there's this frame. And the shop front which covers it. So you might as well do it with that. But then when it gets to this. You want them to be facing away from it. I want to go down to stone. This one where it slits our roof. We actually need to cover them up. Unless we go really for it, we could go concrete barricades. Go top of every crack. We'll be able to go into all concrete barricades. And then obviously doors in, and then embrasures down. Don't really matter which one, which way. Apart from these, I'd say verticals definitely, because that's a really small angle. Whereas if you have verticals, much bigger angles, bottom and top. So yeah, and then for the roofs, you have to go inside the base, and then get the roof face on the out outermost levels, and then place it backwards. And then when you go to the roof, it's just normal. Apart from uh, these bits, the corners, which you have to do from the roof, and make sure these are joined inside. If they're joined to the outside, they usually crumble, but it's because of this here, this stone barricade, or this one, the stone dot frame, I mean, uh, it's more stable. But I'd suggest placing it on the inside just because it should have more stability. Yeah, more, a lot more stability, so I'd put it on the inside. Now it's going to place it again. So yeah, then you just do that all the way around. And then you got your base done like this, and put the embrasures on and stuff. So it's about... From what I've said... This might be pretty inaccurate, but to get full base control in a TC, all loot rooms, both outer TCs, 150 rockets, but that's not gonna shoot in floor or going down. Actually, it would be much cheaper if you just went through here and then drop down here, but a strategy that I can do to make this more expensive is but to still get a lot of angles, go like this. These peaks, it, yeah, over these peaks. So you still get the angles, but you can't drop down them. Or maybe, or you can put a siren light in it, depending on which you prefer, or which you get. But you most of the time you do get stone barricades just from barrel blueprints. So obviously you put down two there, but these are a lot less, a lot less HP, so they can be shot out much easier. So I'd suggest putting concrete barricades. So yeah, plus like and sub, and I don't know if I find another base design and this gets quite a lot of views, and I probably will. If I find another base design that I think is pretty decent, I'll probably share it, but yeah, thanks for watching, see you later.